Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. I'm Andrea here with Andrea Speaks TV. And I hope that you all are doing well. Happy Saturday to you and your family. I hope you're doing well. Your family's doing well. Y'all, listen, um, this video won't be long, but I just wanted to come on and uh, share some news with you and uh, to ask for your thoughts and your opinion on this. Uh, news recently came out. I believe this happened Friday morning. Friday morning, please correct me if I'm wrong, I believe this happened Friday morning, uh, Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, you all have heard me uh, discuss her uh, in videos here on the channel, uh, it was, uh, it, it is being reported allegedly that her husband, uh, I believe his name is Paul Pelosi, I'm sorry about the camera shaking y'all, I'm going over some bumps here, um, very concerning story, it was reported that her husband, Paul Pelosi, um, was violently attacked in their home in San Francisco, I believe, in San Francisco uh, by an individual, by a man um, who allegedly attacked um, Speaker Pelosi's husband with a hammer. Okay, you all let me know. Have you heard this story yet? Has the story come out? Um you know, very concerning story, um, you know, and I am, you know, hoping that, you know, it's also being reported that um, her husband is expected to make a speedy recovery, okay, which is good, you know, it's something that, um, something about this story, you know, very concerning the thought that someone, you know, anyone, someone would do that to a person, you know, it's kind of like, okay, what's, what's going on to make someone want to do that? Um, so, you know, I, I it is, it, you know, it's good that he's expected to make a speedy recovery. Now, uh, a full recovery, I, I won't say speedy recovery, but he's expected to make a full recovery. Now, um, you know, also reports and I, you know, I, I checked a couple of news sources. Um, you know, I don't know, um, much about the individual who allegedly attacked Speaker Pelosi's husband, Paul Pelosi, but it was reported, um, I believe his neighbors, uh, the neighbors of this uh, man, they had some concerns maybe about his behavior, um, when the information also came out and here's where I'm going also with uh, sharing this information news came when news came out about you know identifying who the alleged attacker um, was uh, one report that I saw I can't quite think of the news source I was checking a couple of different ones but one news source um, they were describing this person's social media. I haven't gone on this person's page, so I'm just reporting what was reported. But allegedly, there were some concerns about social media posts this person had made, the alleged attacker. Um, it was also said that this person um, may have been a conspiracy theorist. And maybe, um, you know, as also reported, people that knew uh, that knew this person, the alleged attacker, they were had some concerns about his behavior, maybe some things that he said. One news source, uh, you can also, you know, maybe you've seen this as well. One news source reported that um, when he came in, I believe he may have said something to the effect of, where's Nancy or something like that, where's Nancy? And do you know the news source uh, do you know that the, new, that the news source said that what the alleged attacker uh, was maybe saying as he um, entered their home in the attack, in the alleged attack, do you know that the, this news site, this news source said that what the alleged attacker said sound very similar to... Uh, what some of the people, I guess, who were involved in uh, the January 6th riots were saying. So here's where I'm going with this. You know, as I already said, I hope that 
you know, um, her husband makes a full recovery. Um, I'm not in any way agreeing to, oh, this should have happened. I'm not coming on to say that I'm happy about any of this at all because this should not have happened to him or anyone, right? Um, but what I am concerned about also is how the media, okay, how the media has somehow tied what happened with this alleged attack, how the media has somehow tied in um, January 6th riots. Another media site um, reported that President Biden has uh, blamed Republicans somehow for this. And my question is, you all know I ask questions. My question is, has anyone fact checked this? Are you sure before you just put this out there to the media, to the mass, you know, mass masses of people, mass amounts of people, have you actually took the time to make sure that the information that you're reporting is accurate? This person who allegedly attacked, and I'm saying allegedly, I wasn't there. I'm just going off of what was reported. You know, do you in fact know that what you're saying um, is true? Or are you putting this story out there, this narrative out there, because you want to somehow incite an emotion in people to make them feel a way about a certain um political group okay you all let me know your thoughts on that um very concerning like i said i don't know if they're right or wrong i'm just asking the question <laughs> is it fair you know have have you had enough time to research to get your facts straight before you put this narrative out there to the people to make them feel a certain way or blame th these people or blame that person you know you all let me know your thoughts um you know there have been uh, you can research this as well. There have been attacks on, um, you know, political uh, candidates. I don't know about their families, but you know, there have been political. Uh, there have been attacks on political figures in the past, um, and you know, I don't know all the details about those particular situations. You can research them yourself. But in this particular case, you know, do they have enough facts already at this point to put out that this was somehow politically motivated, um, blaming one group for this happening? You know, we're we're right in, you know, we're we're right now we're in midterm elections. And what, in another week or so, a week or few days. Um, you know, November 8th will be happening. November 8th will be here and we'll find out, you know, the results of some of these very important um, elections that many people are watching. We'll find out the results of those. Um, and, you know, I guess my, my question is, you know, why would they put a story such as this out there prematurely, possibly, um, are they trying to stir up an emotion to sway votes? I don't know, y'all. You let me know your thoughts about that. Um, again, very concerning story. This really happened, y'all. Uh, this really happened, they're saying. And so um, I would like to know your thoughts, your comments on this. Um, is it right for uh, President Biden, other news sources to say that this attack uh, this alleged attack was somehow the result of this person being affiliated with this party or this person's actions um, being associated with those actions from those individuals, groups of people that participated in the January 6th riot. You know, again, I'm not here to say uh, that one person is right or wrong. I'm just simply asking questions. You know, we, we know how uh, the media is. And a lot of times uh, stories are promoted more so than others to incite emotions, okay? I think we've all seen a lot of that, especially now that we are in this election season. So you all let me know your thoughts and comments. Um, please make sure that you uh, share them here. And I want to say I want to thank you all so much for your continued support of the channel. 
Um, I appreciate each and every one of you all. Thank you for uh, not only being a subscriber, but also being a contributor, whether you're sending me stories or sharing information in the comments that makes me say, hey, I didn't think about it this way, or wait a minute, I need to report on this. So I wanna thank you all so much for what you do to contribute to the channel. All right, y'all, let me know your thoughts. I'll be uploading more videos uh, here on the channel, so stay tuned. When you subscribe to the channel, okay, I need you all to do this, please check. Not only um, when you hit the subscribe button, make sure that you hit the all notifications uh, button, okay? That way, whenever I upload videos on the channel or I go live or whenever I make posts in the community tab, you will be notified, okay? Sometimes I can't really control when YouTube sends out the notifications, but I'll say this, you should receive a notification whenever I do upload new content every week on the channel, okay? Uh, I wanna close in saying this, please make sure that you um, at all times, especially when you're out and about, that you are aware of your surroundings. Um, make sure you have what you need. I don't have to go into much detail about this. I think you know where I'm going with this, but make sure that you have um, what you need, okay? To uh, what you feel like you need to protect um, your uh, family. Or whether you're out and about or whether you're at home, okay? Um, Speaker Pelosi's husband, I didn't mention this. Uh, it is reported that he is 82 years old. Uh, this is the fire truck coming by, y'all. So, sorry about the loud noise. Um, but, you know, it's reported that he's 82 years old. Um, so, he's, you know, an older older man, older individual. Um you know, no matter what age you are, whether you're, um, well, I just say this, you know, make sure that you have what you need. Okay. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Um, make sure you have what you need to protect yourself and your family. You can research that, make sure you follow the laws with that. Okay. I'm not telling you to do anything that you should not be doing. Okay. So, uh, make sure you stay within the law, make sure you do, uh, what you feel like is best for you and your family so you can be protected, okay? Y'all take care. Again, I'll be uploading more videos right here on the channel. Let me know your thoughts on this topic. Also, comment uh, other topics that you feel like I need to cover. Maybe there's a story that I don't know about yet that I need to talk about. So, again, thank you all so much for supporting the channel. Stay tuned for more news and commentary you can use right here on Andrea Speaks TV.